What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And here we are once again with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And today we're here to talk battery performance. So we'll be utilizing a few settings from the Lenovo Vantage application, specifically the Legion Edge section, as well as Windows itself. Now, these modes are going to be quiet mode in the thermal mode menu, as well as hybrid iGPU only mode in the GPU work in mode menu. And again, both of these settings can be found in the Legion Edge section of the Lenovo Vantage application. And then on the Windows side settings itself, we're going to have battery saver, which can be found in power and battery settings. So the question is, how do these settings help improve battery performance? Well, first we're going to have quiet mode, and this conserves battery by reducing overall computer performance as well as fan noise. And this makes the unit run overall more quiet. And then we're going to have hybrid iGPU only mode, and this works by only using the integrated graphics card, which conserves power as well as reduces noise as well. And then we have battery saver built into Windows, and this is more explanatory. People probably use this more often. Uh, not only gaming PCs, but PCs overall, the settings can be adjusted, but basically what that does is it helps improve battery performance as well. Now there is good news in regards to all of this, and that is the settings are generally very easy to find and very easy to tweak, which is a plus if you like tinkering with things, but you may have limited knowledge. And a quick side note, you can see that we have the RGB running on the Legion Pro 7i. I like to show it off in these videos because it is really cool. But for the battery test, again, the idea is to conserve battery to the max. So we had the RGB turned off and then screen brightness was adjusted anywhere between 10 and 75%. That being said, the focus of this battery test was to simulate a use case scenario that someone might use if they're focused on productivity or some content consumption. And that being said, we didn't do any gaming here because gaming is labor intensive and that would drain the battery pretty quick and also gaming you don't tend to get the best performance when you're running only on battery so the goal of this content is to help you get more out of your devices and improve your day-to-day -day efficiency and i'm hoping to accomplish this by providing content you can't find anywhere else because i actually buy these products i'm actually interested in them and i use them long term all things said let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk battery performance, but before we do so, I wanna mention that I started each test with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9 charged to 100%, and I ended the test when it reached 15%. And the total time was recorded with a stopwatch app on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. We also have some graphs here that will demonstrate battery usage but there is a disclaimer, and that is I couldn't mark the graphs where the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9 started at 100% and ended at 15%. Now what that means is battery usage per app, as you will see in these graphs, may be off slightly, but they should give you a general idea of what apps are consuming the most battery. And battery usage per app is helpful, not only because we could see which apps consumed the most battery, but we can also adjust the way we use the Legion Pro 7i by adjusting the apps we use to hopefully improve battery performance in the future. So if we take a look at our first test, again, the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9 went from 100% to 15% and runtime was three hours and 30 minutes. And if we take a look at our top used apps, these are going to be web browsers, we're going to have Microsoft Edge, and then we're going to have Chrome browser. And we're also going to have the streaming app, Netflix. Now, if we take a closer look at battery usage per app, it's going to look like Microsoft Edge used a ton of battery. And this is somewhat true, but for browsers, I thought this used an unusual amount until I tried the Brave browser later on in the test, which we'll cover later. But even though Brave browser did do slightly better, these browsers tend to consume quite a bit of power. I don't know if this is just a Windows thing or if it happens on other devices such as Android and Chromebooks as well, but that's something to focus on. And then Netflix, that's pretty much in line with what I expected. I watched about half a movie on the Netflix streaming service. You can see that that consumed quite a bit of battery as well. Now, returning back to the internet browsers, I use them mainly for YouTube and reading news articles from Google News, 
as well as other basic internet browse and such as reading other articles from other sites. Now, when it comes to the battery usage for both the Edge browser and the Chrome browser, what we're interested in is if the videos actually contributed to the higher battery usage for those apps. And if so, we can adjust our usage again in the future to help conserve battery on the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And then we have the second battery test, which I did try to work on a bit more and see if I can improve based on what I learned in the first test. So here again, we ran the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9 from 100% to 15%, and we had a total runtime of three hours and 54 minutes. So you can see that is about a 24 minute addition there. So that's a plus there. And again, we improved a little bit because I tried to use what I learned in that first test to improve the second test. So that being said, we tried a different browser. We went with the Brave browser. And although it did perform slightly better than the Edge browser, it did consume quite a bit of battery still. And I used it for basically the same things. Again, watching YouTube videos, reading Google news articles and other basic internet browsing, such as reading articles from other sites. And then we have Netflix again, which I want to include to simulate a more fair condition or application of use because I think a lot of us will take a break from time to time in between work and maybe we'll watch Netflix or YouTube. So that's why that's here once again. And I did watch quite a few shows here. It was actually quite a bit of usage of Netflix in this test, more than the browser, I would like to say. So that's why we're going to see higher battery usage for the Netflix app versus the browsers. And for transparency, when it comes to audio, whether it was from Netflix or YouTube, I did use the Skull Candy Crusher Evos. These are really good Bluetooth headphones that have incredible bass. And I just wanted to mention that because I wasn't sure if that case use would also affect battery performance. So I wasn't actually streaming the audio to the built-in speakers, but they actually do work really well because I accidentally had them enabled when I was at a car dealership doing the first test. And of course, a kid movie starts playing on Netflix and everyone could hear it and kind of laughed at myself. It was a little bit embarrassing, um, but they do work really good. But for the test, again, we used Bluetooth headphones. So the one thing I've learned from this battery test is maybe we could use some of these applications less, but is that practical? We could look at maybe using Netflix less because we don't necessarily need that. And maybe internet browsers or maybe we could use internet browsers, but just not use YouTube and maybe actually use that for only articles or basic internet browsing. And also what this tells me is that there is still a case use for Chromebooks in my life. I love the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9, but battery consumption is pretty high here for these more basic things. Again, we didn't even do any game in here and we're looking at a little less than four hours of use. Now, I would like to try these tests over and over again and see if I can improve that. But four hours, I would say, is about mediocre. I don't know if that's more towards the bad side or more in the middle. I would think it's more in the middle, but I would have liked to see this maybe at six hours. And the other thing to consider is I haven't really run this laptop on battery alone many times. So maybe it's got to learn a certain amount of usage and then it can improve the battery performance. So that's another thing to consider. These battery tests may not be a complete representation of what this laptop is capable of because it hasn't learned well enough of my actual usage when on battery. But the good news is when it comes to these battery results, this is probably the worst case scenario you can expect for the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.